polynomial division, we're going to do this example. First, we're going to use this long division method. So we write the problem here. x cubed. Because we've got no square term there, so we just write 0. x squared. Then minus 3x. Plus 2. And divided by x minus 2. First, we're going to eliminate x cubed. So we need to multiply this x by x squared. We write it there. So x squared times x is x cubed. Minus 2 times x squared is minus 2x squared. Now we find the remainder here. 0 minus minus 2. 2x squared. Bring this term down. Now we need to eliminate 2x squared. So x times x, sorry, x times 2x will give us 2x squared. And then 2x times minus 2 is minus 4x. The remainder, minus 3 minus minus 4 is 1x. Bring the last term down. Now we need to multiply this x by 1 to get x here. So we write the 1 there. So 1 times minus 2 is minus 2. x minus x is nothing. 2 minus minus 2 is 4. So this is our quotient and this is our remainder. Now we come to the second method, synthetic division. Will we write the coefficients here? One, zero, minus three, then two. Because we're going to divide by x minus two, we solve it. So the x equal to two is the answer. So we write two here. First one plus nothing is one. Now we do two times one. We write it there. So zero plus two. <coughs> is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, so minus 3 plus 4 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, then 2 plus 2 is 4. So this is our x squared term, x constant and the remainder. So the quotient equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1, the remainder is equal to 4. Now we can use the third method, comparing the coefficients. First, we're going to compare the x cubed coefficient, which is 1 here. So left hand side, we've got 1. x cubed only come from when we multiply x times this x squared. So that's 1 times a. So that's basically is a. So therefore, a is equal to 1. Then we do the coefficient of x squared, which is 0. x squared term can come from two places, x times x term, or constant number times x squared term. So that's 1 times b, which is b minus 2 times a, which is minus 2a, but a is 1. So that basically is minus 2. So from there, we get the solution b is equal to 2. Then x term, we got minus 3 here. So the x term will come from then we multiply this x to the constant c, or we multiply this minus 2 to the x term there. So we get c times 1, then we get minus 2 
times b, b is 2, so that's minus 4. So from here we get c equal to 1. Then to find r, we compare the constant term. Left hand side is just 2. The constant term can come from when we multiply this minus 2 to c. So that's minus 2 times 1, which is minus 2. And also r is constant. So if you solve here, you will get r equal to 4. So the quotient equal to 1 x squared plus 2x plus 1. Remainder equal to 4. One more point. How do we know this r is a constant? When you're dividing by a linear term, the remainder can only be a number. If you were dividing by a square term, then the remainder might be a linear term, something x plus something. 